Good day everyone! Handa na ba kayo sa panibagong aralin sa matematika para sa ika-anim na baitang? Ngayon ay pag-uusapan natin ang nauukol sa order of operations, specifically ang GEMDAS rule. Ano ba ibig sabihin ng GEMDAS rule or papaano ba ito ginagamit? First, perform all the operations inside the grouping symbols. Ano-ano ba yung iba't ibang uri ng grouping symbols? Meron tayong parenthesis, meron tayong bracket, and then phrase. So, dapat lahat ng operations na nasa loob ng grouping symbols starting from parenthesis to bracket to brace ay maisagawa muna natin. Next, simplify expression with exponent. Third, perform multiplication and division as they occur from left to right. Ibig sabihin niyan, kailangan muna natin gawin lahat ng operation involving multiplication and division As they occur from left to right, ibig sabihin kung ano ang mauna sa dalawa. Kung mauna ang multiplication, unahin mo ang multiplication. Kung mauna ang division, unahin mo ang division. Then, after natin gawin ang multiplication and division, you can now proceed to the final step, which is perform addition and subtraction as they occur from left to right. So again, ang ibig sabihin niya ay kung mauna ang addition, unahin mo ang addition. Or kung mauna ang subtraction, unahin mo ang subtraction as they occur from left to right. Now, let us try to apply this step in solving expression. Let us have example number 1. We have 6 times 4 minus 2 to the 4th power plus the difference of 12 and 4 divided by 4. The first step is, Perform all the operations inside the grouping symbols. Since we have here, grouping symbols, which is parenthesis, and ang nasa loob ng parenthesis ay 12 minus 4, that means kailangan natin unahin ang 12 minus 4. Bakit? Kasi siya ay nasa loob ng parenthesis. So we have 12 minus 4 is equals to 8. Then copy the rest of the expression. Then the next step is, Simplify expression with exponent. Since we have here exponential number, okay, we have 2 to the 4th power. We need to simplify 2 to the 4th power. 2 to the 4th power means 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 or 16. And then copy the rest of the expression. The next step is, Perform multiplication and division as they occur from left to right. As you see, in our expression, we have multiplication and we also have division. But which comes first? Multiplication. Since multiplication comes first, we need to multiply first. So we have now 6 times 4 is equal to 24. And then copy the rest of the expression. Now, we can divide. We have 8 divided by 4 is equals to 2. Then copy the rest of the expression. Then the uh, final step which is perform addition and subtraction as they occur from left to right. As you see, we have here subtraction and addition. But which comes first? That is subtraction. That means we need to subtract before Adding. So we have 12, um, sorry, we have 24 minus 16.
addition and subtraction but since addition comes first we need to add first so we have 24 plus 10 is equal to 34 and then subtract it from 20, 34 we have 34 minus 34 is equals to 0 so our final answer is 0 so I hope everything is clear to you until next time goodbye Thank <laughs> you.